I, I suggest people to really learn that due diligence process to become an attractive buyer. And when you know that due diligence process, you can go through it seamlessly. Like you said, it's, it, um, it's quite the same for most businesses. Some of your questions will change, but yeah, I suggest people getting really good at that. And like I give away a free tool. So anybody listen, just go away and grab the free tool, go to bob.com forward slash free resources. That's buying on the business.com forward slash free resources. You get due diligence stuff, all that sort of stuff, right? Robert, but if you can learn all that stuff and just continue to practice it and you build your relationship with you, mm -hmm. then you're going to be like, you're going to be helping me. You're going to be kind of working for me to get the right deal because I'm an attractive buyer. Like I don't want to do wrong by you, but like, you're going to see that I've have money. I'm interested and I'm going to do the right thing. And I'm going to be upfront, honest. Yeah. And, and go, seller, yeah. Yeah. Sellers are often asking me, they're like, what do you think? Like, which buyer should I go with? Which buyers have their shit together? Yeah. And, you know, they're relying on me as, as an opinion to tell them what buyers normally look like and which, which of the good buyers, like what that actually looks like too. Yeah. Cause I see it quite common that, I guess we're kind of in, it, it changes a little bit when you go to the mid seven figures, high seven figure range where those deals, those deal processes take a little bit longer, but it, it is starting to, we're starting to see so much more money come to our space. Right. And then for the seller, it's so much wiser to work with the most attractive buyer. So it's an easy handover it's an easy migration. And for these bigger sites, it might be like a, a year or more where they're still tied into the business whilst they're getting their funds. So you don't want to be dealing with somebody who's fumbling around, right? Exactly. Yeah. There can be a lot of headaches after transition. That's a huge thing for sellers. If it's a multi-million dollar business is how much of a pain is it going to be after transition? Does this buyer, you know, have their stuff together and can they actually handle this after transition and work with me as a partner versus, you know, an acquisition and being more of a nuisance after I sell the business. So a huge part of selling the business for sellers is finding that partner that can not only take it to the next level financially, but work with you after transition.